Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle and this is Let's Play Overland. We are back in the mountains, 37% through this stage, right where we left off at the end of the last episode. Um, so up until this point we have been doing pretty well. We had two shields uh, for each of these guys. Uh, Tyrone, uh, who I call Paul half the time, has a pipe. Um, but we sort of like sort of abandoned everything and made a mad escape out of Canadian here in our last episode. So... What I think we should do is go to a supply cache. Um, so this one would cost six. And it's some danger. This, you know, this one will cost 10. Um, and there may not be fuel at a supply cache. So we could get screwed as far as getting to somewhere else. So, like, this costs 10, this costs 11. Um,. You know, we'd have five. I don't know what that would be to get to there, to that new car. Um, I do think we probably want to make the, you know, we probably want to go, like, as far as we can. Because uh, we could go here and then hit the fuel cache. But, I don't know. I think I'm going to go to Oswatomi here. Oswatomi. Uh, and get the supplies just because we have like no weapons and stuff um and i want that i want that to continue we at least need shields and things like that so that's what we're gonna do we'll see how it goes you know we may be walking uh there's like a dead guy here um no nothing crazy here you got the, the two moving two move spider people to deal with um that you do take one hit so what i might do is like have tyrone try to deal with those things and he can kill it like if it comes towards him right um i have ellie go over here oh why do you have fuel ellie let's uh let's redo that let's um get you out and fill up the car so we had a little bit more fuel than i thought so we got seven gallons uh, we'll have Ebony come over here, and she can search that car on the next turn. Hopefully, Spider Guy comes here, right? Okay, good. So, Paul, what do you got here, man? A radio. Okay, so these are cool. Um, so it's a radio. It looks like it has two health. So what I can do is, like, pick up this radio, turn it on, and to drop it, and the enemies will all go towards it and attack it. Um, so let's pick it up. Um, don't quite know how to turn it on. I don't see the uh Alright, it's on now, I guess. And it'll stay on. And we'll just have him like No, there's like something right there. A tree, I guess? I don't know what that is. I didn't see that. All right, we'll just have Paul go here. So what will happen is they'll, both of these guys will go that way and attack it. A flare gun. Okay. Yeah, we'll take that. And, and Ellie can start coming down here. Yeah, see, so they're just going to go. So it took one hit. This guy's going to go towards it. I'll have Tyrone come back this way. Have Ellie. Uh, actually, let's undo that. Man, the undo button is saving my butt. A heavy knife. Perfect. Right? I mean, this is kind of like exactly what I wanted. Um, I think I'm just going to get out of here, if I'm honest. Like, uh, it would be nice to know it's in that car. So they'll move towards that one more turn. Well, he killed it, so now they won't. Um, so why don't you get in here and drive this thing? Oh, no. Did running over that bottle hurt the car? Are you serious? Okay. I mean, that's kind of lame. This might be a repair kit, though.
too, and then Paul will kill it. Turn the car off. Oh my god, that was so dumb. Okay. Alright, yeah, so he's gonna have to kill this thing. Then I'm gonna have a move. I'm gonna have her. Uh, how do you use the repair kit? She just did, right? And then where's the flare gun? I don't know, she just dropped that. Where's the flare gun? On top of this dude? Maybe that was just the car being on? Put the repair kit in the car. There we go. Alright. Um... What did he just do? Did he just yell? Alright, so what I need is for Ebony to go back down here and get her flare gun. I need Paul to just kind of kite, or Tyrone to just kind of kite this guy around for a bit. Alright, so go here. Pick up the flare gun and then start moving back. Um. Let's wait this out. I think we're doing okay. Now she can just shoot all over the map, which is crazy good. Pull her in. All right. So we picked up a repair kit. We picked up some fuel. Um, I could just go right to the end. I'd be out of gas if I did that. Um, but I might do that. Let's think about this. So if I go there and there's no fuel, then what? I have to walk through the first stage of the next level. Uh, I could go there and get a new car. So it's five to get new a new car or three to get a fuel cache. The fuel cache is probably the smart thing to do. Cause I like the car that we have. I'd have to like spend a lot of time transferring like all the stuff to the new car. So, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, I think fuel cash is the right thing to do. High risk fuel cash. And then go to the end. Hmm. I mean, definitely, again, we do not need a new person. Um, a fresh car we don't really need. So it's either fuel cash or the end. I got to go fuel cash. I don't want to like get to there and then be have it and then have to walk after I've you know made it this far I guess so. Okay. So the the thing about these fuel caches is that they um, these make noise. Um, I'm gonna have him go all the way around here. Oh. Okay. I didn't see that. I, those are hard for me to see, I guess. 
Um, hmm. This is tricky, man. Yeah, every one of those is going to make noise. Does she have a knife now? Alright, so she can move here and kill this thing, I think. Can we just talk about how creepy it is that that thing steps like that? And then it makes that sound while it's doing it? It's disgusting. And such good audio design. Alright. So at least we don't have to worry about him. Paul, man... Tyrone, man, whatever your name is. You're just going to skirt around here and then warp back. Um, so let's have her put this in the car. Pick up her gun. Um, if she shoots that, does it... Who? I kind of just want to do it. Um, it doesn't kill. See, it doesn't say kill. Um, like, I don't know what that thing does. Oh, God. I kind of just want to shoot it. I'm going to shoot it. And then move her to here. If it dies. It's one of the bomb things, right? Okay. That gives us eight, and I don't really know how much it's going to cost to, like... Okay. Shove. Oh. Trait aggressive. She can just shove things away from her? That is awesome. Do it. Alright, so can he, like, so there's none of those things here, right? Okay. Oh, a sixer. That's beautiful, man. Alright. If you just get in here and move, can you drive? No. Alright. Okay, so they get warped too. Alright, pick up this gas. Hmm. Alright. Uh, okay, Ebony. Can you just keep shoving this dude, please? Tyrone, will you, like, walk safely to there? I can only assume yes. Okay, good. Um, okay. I think she's just going to go. Tyrone, put this in there, please, sir. And then go back and get your pipe. Shove this thing again, please. Okay. That warp mechanic is kind of weird. Alright, Tyrone. Get your pipe. And then... Come back over here. Alright, can you get in the car? 
Turn it on. Can you get in the car? Can we get Tyrone in? No? Alright, let's turn it off. Problem is we can't really get out of here. Oh, now we can. Why can't we go? All right, so shield off the car. Okay, our car is super damaged. We have a repair kit though. So as long as we can just get out of here, we can repair the car. So we got a car in bad shape, but we got 14 fuel. Uh, we have weapons for some people. Does she still have her gun or did I lose the gun? I don't even know. Let's go check out Rancho Cordova. So I'm assuming it'll be another roadblock puzzle. Uh, and it is. Okay. So first things first. Why don't you do that? That's Ebony, right? Okay. Uh, Ebony. Get out. And repair the car. Okay. Good stuff. Alright, so the main thing here is we got to deal with these uh, bombs, right? There's no warp zones. I mean, I think we could just leave right now. Couldn't we? Couldn't we now go like here to here to here? Like, like. here, 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 and out. Did that not work? I mean, I know these blue ones move. I am just going to move the car to here. Oh, I didn't want you to drive over that, Ellie. Can't stab it. I mean, that's just dumb. Hmm. I don't. Okay. I mean, that's cool, man. Like, I think we can just... She's hurt, but I think that's okay. We can just escape. Will they drive through the fire? What happens? I'm gonna try it. Nothing happens. You just drive through fire. So we made it through the mountains. To be continued. Oh wow, I think we uh I think we beat the game then. Uh not officially probably, because right, they're gonna add more, they're gonna add more zones to the game. But um that is my first successful run of Overland. I'm pretty happy with that. 
Um, I played it safe a little bit, maybe sometimes. Played smarter than I have been. I think the new UI, I think learning about the uh, the undo button really helped. But yeah, that is Overland uh, until they add the, uh, the the last zones, I guess. Maybe there's two more zones, I'm not sure. There's definitely like a west coast, right? We started on the east coast, went through the plains, went through the middle, uh, went through the mountains, and now the east coast. Uh, but that wraps it up, which is super cool. So that's Overland version 0.5.4 build 146. Uh, great game, coming along nicely. Thanks for watching. I'll probably uh, keep checking in on this game as it develops. Uh, definitely once they add the uh, once they add the final levels, I'll definitely give it another shot and probably play it a few more times uh, on final release as well. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you all next time.